Hi guys, Tracy here. I'm known as MT's Pull Up Dreams here in the doll collecting part of YouTube. <laughs> and uh, I have a couple of other channels as well, but uh, this is my doll channel. And uh, I've decided to participate in the Dolly Vlog Hop that's been happening since sometime last year, I believe it started. And this Vlog Hop was started, I believe it was started by Linda. And uh, I found out about it over on the Amoka Crush Facebook page where there are lots of really fun conversations and photos being posted about pull-up collecting. So if you haven't found that channel, that uh, page yet, make sure that you go check that out. Uh, but Linda also has a YouTube channel and she reviews dolls and I really love checking out her doll reviews before I buy a doll. I always check and see if any of my favorite YouTubers have the doll so that I can see it up close and personal. So make sure that you check out her channel as well. And there are a whole bunch of doll collecting YouTubers. Uh, pull up, mo I think it's all pull up collecting YouTubers who are part of this particular vlog hop. And uh, the list is in the information section for this video. So do make sure that you check out all of the other channels of the other doll co pull up collecting YouTubers who are participating. Now I'm very, very, very late to the party. I think I might be the last person to join. So um, I'll be the caboose on this train, I don't mind. Um, and so there, we're actually on prompt number 20. And I do plan to go back and do some of the other prompts because they, they, a lot of them, they were really fun to watch everybody else's response. So I think I would like to participate and give my own responses to some of the other prompts as well. But where I'm coming in so late, I'm probably not gonna be able to go back and do every single one of them. So I'm gonna do some of them. If there's any that you particularly want to see me answer, uh, do leave a comment in the information section below and I'd be happy to uh, do specific ones if there's a desire for it. But otherwise I'll just go back and I'll pick whatever ones I feel like doing or that seem interesting to me. Um, so I'm gonna jump in at prompt number 20, which is the most recent prompt. And I think I came out pretty recently, like maybe a month or two ago, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, then I will go back and I'll, I think I'll do the first one and some of the other ones as well. So you can keep an eye out on my channel for those. Uh, so the 20th prompt goes like this. It says, there are so many Alice in Wonderland lines thus my little doll Alice in Wonderland here. Um, there are so many Alice in Wonderland lines. If you could design the next one, what would you do to make it unique? So this is actually a really difficult question for me because I really love looking at other people's designs. Like I don't feel like I'm all that talented in coming up with my own doll design ideas. Um, but I really, really love to see what Groove comes up with and I love just love like looking at all the details and seeing how they interpret various themes. I really love the Alice in Wonderland lines and at first, when I first came to the hobby, I thought it was kind of strange that Groove had so many uh, different interpretations of Alice in Wonderland. And then once I read about it a, a little bit more, I, I kind of came to realize why. Um, and and I think that what I really like about the Alice series, like all of the series, even though not all of them are for me, like for my collection, um, uh, what I really love about them is it's like the Alice in Wonderland characters are like the canvas and then they interpret their styling and their clothing and their hair and their eye chips and that becomes like the art and then you get to see all different interpretations of the same characters and I really really love that I really love seeing oh when I first heard that there was going to be a steampunk Alice series I thought wow I wonder what that'll look like and then to see it play out in Alice and in in um, White Rabbit and the Mad Hatter and just kind of interesting to see which ones they make into pull-ups or Tyangs or Isuls or Dells um, and it's just really um, fun to see how they add different characters like this time they added a Cheshire cat and that well, I think they had a Cheshire cat before but this one was a pull-up Cheshire cat um, I would love to see like a rocker version of like a punk or 
rock version of Alice in Wonderland and just see how the characters all kind of play out and which ones are pull-ups and which ones are, are easels and tyings. I, I think I would really love to see what kinds of outfits and hairdos they come up with because uh, Groove has made some pretty rockin' characters over the years. I especially love Tokidoki Luna. Um, and so that would be one idea. It might not be different enough from some of the other series. Another idea that I had was to c come up with like an all pastel uh, version of Alice in Wonderland. So like I, I know that the um, Alice du Jardin series is very, you know, very light colors, but there's it's it's a mixture of light and dark. I would love to see something along the lines of like the like the fairy berry series but not with fairies and but like not with plushies and stuff but um kind of like that color scheme interpreted into an Alice in Wonderland I think that would be really really cute um so yeah anyhow my favorite series of Alice in Wonderland that they have out so far is the Alice in Steampunk World series and that's why I took my little Alice my Dal Alice in Steampunk World off my shelf for this I also have my other two Alice in Wonderland dolls over there I have Isul in Steampunk World and then I also have Lunatic Queen and I love the Lunatic series as well so that's my answer to prompt number 20. Thanks so much for watching, and I'd love to hear your ideas about the Alice in Wonderland series uh, that have been put out so far by Groove, and also if you have any ideas of what you would like to see uh, in an Alice in Wonderland series for the future. I'm really excited to see the Optical Alice series come out. Uh, right now we have Optical Alice, uh, and I'm really interested in seeing all of the other dolls come out this year or next. So thanks so much for watching and have a great dolly week!